The title of my message is Consistently Consistent. I believe that as leaders and pastors, we have to be consistently consistent in areas. And it is a great challenge. I know that all of us here because we have faced many challenges. And I pray that when you leave this convention, you will be ready to overcome all your challenges. Today, outside uh, from this beginning, opening remarks, we have many, many great pastors and leaders from all around the world. And they're here to <laughs> Don't laugh. <laughs> You're one of the pastors. <laughs> so, <laughs> so we are really excited for this opportunity. It says they are forever true to be obeyed faithfully and with integrity. In Psalms 111 verse 8, it says they are forever true to be obe obeyed fully or faithfully and with integrity. I want to say that God's commandments or God's commands, that's what it's talking about, they, God's commands. They need to be obeyed fully or faithfully and with integrity. As pastors and leaders, when you want to grow your ministry, know that God called you to do what you're doing. It's the command of, command of God that you responded. Now, I want to talk about two, two things out of this scripture. How God's, God's commands need to be obeyed. Number one, it ought to be obeyed faithfully. It means that you are really consistently consistent. Faithfully means that without any situations, or with any kind of situations, it doesn't matter what kind of problems and the challenges you have gone through until today. God is still expecting that we obey Him. God is still expecting that we answer the calling that we, we, we were given to God. Maybe some of you for a few years ago, maybe yesterday you received God's calling to be a pastor, and you're here today. Amen? Some of you started your church five years ago, you still have two people. And so today, I want to remind you, as we are attending this convention, let us be consistently consistent. Let us be consistently consistent. Would you tell the pastors next to you and say, let us be consistently consistent. And that's what the word faithfully means. Obey God faithfully. With whatever the circumstances you are facing, financially, marriage-wise, with your wife, maybe your disciples, your deacons and boards, whatever you're facing, will you consistently obey God? And that's number one, faithfully. Secondly, I want to mention to you that you must obey God with integrity. Integrity means that you are truthful. You're truthful to what you hold dear in your heart, what you believed in the very first, the beginning. The Bible says in Revelations also, in chapter, <coughs> chapter 12, verse 11, we overcome him by the blood of the Lamb and the words of our testimony and not loving our life until death. Yeah. You know, a lot of us have been threatened with many challenges and you are giving up. Some of you have been in a position, you're crying at night, crying with your spouse, thinking, why did I start the church? But you know, today I want to mention to you that let us lead our flocks and our church with integrity. You said yes to God, keep that word today. Amen? You said yes to God when you opened up your church, when you started your ministry. Let your yes be yes still today. Amen? And I want to conclude with this. I want to challenge you this morning as we are opening up our conventions for next two weeks. Amen? We'll have many more pastors who will be joining us next week as well. And they will give us their thoughts and the things that God has spoken to them in their lives. Everything you heard, let us apply them. Convention means nothing if you're not applying anything. And so, let us believe that God has the calling for us still to this day. No matter what kind of circumstances and failures you experience, our church will grow. This is a body of Christ. Amen? How many guys of pastors here believe that? Do you believe it? Amen? So why don't we bow our heads and let us pray. Lord, we thank you, God, for our great convention, How to Face Challenges. Lord, we thank you, God, that this is not just an annual gathering, but Lord, we believe that you are planting something in everyone's heart, that we were called to be a pastor. They were called, oh God, by you to overcome challenges. Help us to be faithful. Help us, oh God, to be a people of integrity. We ask all of these things. In your name we pray. Amen. 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 God bless you guys. Amen.